Argo Rollouts is one of the most impressive applications I've seen for rolling out your applications to Kubernetes clusters. It's quickly becoming one of the most important tools for you to know and understand if you want to work with Kubernetes clusters. So let's go ahead and learn it together. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know within about 15 minutes here. We're going to go over how to install Argo rollouts, how to use the web interface, as well as the CLI. And I'll also go over how Argo rollouts is different from something like Argo CD. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to get started with Argo rollouts. But before I do that, I want to explain what the difference is between Argo CD and Argo rollouts, because a lot of people don't understand what the difference is between these tools and what they're doing for you differently. So if you don't know what Argo CD is, I have another video dedicated to Argo CD. Basically, it's what's known as a GetOps operator. And basically what it does is it can check your GitHub repository for your Kubernetes manifests, your Helm charts, your customized files. And basically what it does is it makes sure that your Kubernetes cluster is in what's known as a desired state. So it has a look at your configuration and it just makes sure that your Kubernetes cluster is in line with that. If it isn't, it can automatically sync. So anytime you commit configuration changes, Argo CD can pull those changes in to your Kubernetes cluster automatically. Or what it can do is it can tell you that your cluster is out of sync, and then you can go in there, see what the changes are, see what the differences are, and then you can click a sync button and it'll pull in your configuration and just make sure that your Kubernetes cluster is in sync with your configuration. So it's a really important tool. It's really good at deploying your applications and getting your applications into Kubernetes, but it is missing one key piece, which is the ability to progressively roll out your application while being able to test it. So that's what Argo Rollouts brings to the table here. So if you have an application and you wanna roll out a new version, there's risks associated with that. The new version may impact your users, so organizations want to roll out these changes slowly. The Argo Rollouts object basically takes the deployment object and it enhances it. So let's have a look at how it can do that. So if we have a look here, this is what a typical Argo Rollout would look like. Basically, you have version one of the application, and before you start your rollout, 100% of the traffic will be going to version one. Then what you want to do is progressively roll out version two of the application. So you can see we have a canary rollout strategy here. So first step is send 100% traffic to version one, 0% to version two. Then let's start sending 20% to version two, 80% to version one, then we'll send 60% to version two, and then 40% to version one, and then finally 100% to version two, 0% to version one, our rollout is complete. So here's the steps simplified for our strategy, and this is what the YAML actually looks like, the main configuration for the actual rollout object, which we're gonna create in the lab later in this video. Now, just to visualize this, basically what Argo rollouts will do is when we get to this 20% step is it's just gonna start a pod running this new version of our application. So this would be an image. We basically tell it to run the version two image of our application. It'll start a pod uh, running there. And since we're saying 20% and there's five total pods, that would mean one pod. Now the user's traffic is being load balanced to these five pods, uh, and one in five pods is going to version two. Once uh, we move to step three here, it's saying now send 60% of the traffic to version two and 40% to version one. So basically it would just start two new pods running version two, and it would remove two pods running version one until basically we get to the final step where it's sending 100% of the traffic to version two and 0% to version one. 
Now in our configuration, the first step when we're sending 20%, you can see I say pause. Basically what this means, it's gonna wait for human intervention to actually promote the deployment to the next step. After that, I have an automated step here and I've just chosen a duration of 360. Basically it's gonna wait five minutes and then it's gonna move on to the next stage. Now, this is a very simplified deployment, uh, just allowing human intervention and promoting, and then just pausing and waiting some time. But you can actually add quite a few automations here to only move on to the next stage if your application is meeting certain requirements and metrics. And you can do that through analysis templates. So what you can do with an analysis template is hook it up to your observability tools like Prometheus, Grafana, and then you can define key metrics for the rollout. And then Argo rollouts will actually only progress your deployment if those metrics are being met. This is sort of the end game for Argo rollouts on having those automatic deployments that automatically deploy your application when everything's working well. And if there's problems with your application, it's automatically detected and then it rolls back to the previous version. So I hope that helps understand how Argo rollouts works. Let's now jump into the terminal and I'll show you how you can all put this together. It's really quick to get Argo rollouts installed into your cluster and start testing it out. I have a really simple deployment for us to get started with here. All right, so getting started with Argo rollouts is pretty simple. The first thing you wanna do is install Argo rollouts into Kubernetes. I'm using Minikube here for my Kubernetes cluster, but this will work no matter what you're using for your Kubernetes cluster. The first thing you wanna do is create a namespace. So I'll go kube control, create namespace Argo rollouts, and then I'm just going to apply the manifest. Now I have all these commands in my GitHub down below in the description. So if you wanna run these commands, go ahead and check them out and uh, just put them into your terminal. Now, the next thing you wanna do after you get Argo rollouts installed into your cluster, what you'll want to do is install the Argo rollouts plugin for kube control. So you can just do that using brew. I have the command down here. I already have it installed with brew, but if you want it, again, this is in my GitHub. Okay, so now that we have rollouts installed in our cluster and we have the kube control Argo rollouts plugin, what we'll want to do is create our first rollout and we'll also create a service just so we can test out our pod. So basically what we're gonna be doing is just applying these two manifests here. So I have a rollout manifest and a service manifest. Service manifest is really simple. It's just allowing port 80 to our pods and it's using the selector app rollouts demo. Here's our rollout object, which looks very similar to a deployment object. Basically, you have your pod template at the bottom, which is the same thing you would do with a deployment. But here at the top, we have our rollout specification. And this is where we set our strategy and the steps that our strategy takes. So I'm using the canary strategy, which is going to roll out a percentage of my pods. Down here is the different steps, and this is what I went through at the beginning of the video. Basically, the first step is it's gonna send 20% of the traffic, then we're gonna to move to 40, 60, and the pause step here is waiting for human intervention. Basically, we will have to promote our deployment before it moves to the next step, and then after that, it just uh, waits 10 seconds and then just automatically promotes it. So you can configure this however you want for your rollout strategy. Let's go ahead and apply these. So I'm just gonna apply both these manifests by copying this and then putting it into my terminal here. Now that we have a rollout object created, let's go ahead and check it out. You can use both the Argo rollout CLI to do this, as well as the graphical user interface. So if you wanna see the CLI command, basically this is it right here. It's just kube control Argo rollouts, get rollout, and then your rollout name, and then just specify the parameter watch. Again, if you want this command to run, you'll need to make sure that you have the Argo rollouts plugin installed for kube control. So I'm gonna run this. Here we can see our rollout is up and running, and that's because of the first deployment of your rollout. It'll just roll everything out because you don't have pods running yet. 
But what we're going to do later in this video is we're going to change the version of our image here. And this is going to allow for the rollout to happen. I'm actually going to get a second window here. And now let's go into the dashboard just so you can have a look at what the dashboard looks like. Uh, to get the dashboard, just go Q Control Argo Rollouts Dashboard. And it is going to do a little bit of port forwarding for you. And you can see I can access it here. And this is what the Argo Rollouts Dashboard looks like. So I just have a single rollout here. But if you had many different ones, they would all be available in this list. And you could filter for them. You can also choose which namespace you're in at the very top right here. Now let's go into our application here, which is the Rollouts Demo. And you can see we have all our different steps visualized here. So we're on the first revision of our application, and this is the image that we're using. This is the default image Argo Rollouts provides to you, so you can test out Argo Rollouts. So we're on the blue image now, and we're gonna change it to something like blue, yellow, green, uh, just to test out the rollouts. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna change the image that our application is using from blue to yellow. So to do that, you can go back to the CLI and you can just go Q control Argo rollouts, set image, put your rollouts name here. Ours is called rollouts demo. Then we're going to specify the image name and tag here, basically changing it from blue. And you can see the image has been updated. I'm going to go to my other terminal here and you can see the rollout has already started happening. We have revision one running four pods. You can see uh, it was actually running five right there and then one of them just terminated because one of them is already running revision two, which is a canary of the new image, the yellow image. So that's how you can see it from the CLI. If we go back to the user interface here, you can see we are on revision two. Revision two has one pod running and revision one is running four pods. So this is 20% of the traffic. You can see it's paused here, and the next step is to set the weight to 40%, then it's gonna pause for 10 seconds, then it's gonna start sending 60% traffic, pause for 10 seconds, then 80%. Again, you could configure this to however you want. You could set the weights differently to trickle in traffic more slowly. You could set these pause periods to be longer, or you could require manual human intervention to promote your deployment to the next step. So I just have pause set for the first step. Let's actually go and promote this right now. So I'm just gonna hit promote. Uh, are you sure? I'm pretty sure here, so I'll hit yes. And you can see it's already rolling out one more pod, which is another 20%. It's on the pause stage here. It's gonna pause for 10 seconds, and then it's just gonna start rolling out more traffic you can see one more coming over and it's just going to go through this deployment slowly rolling over pods. Now there's a lot more automation that you could add into this. You could have this integrated with Prometheus. It could be looking for certain health metrics of your application to make sure your application is healthy before it does the promotion. This is just a simple demo so I just have pause in here. I'm gonna go back to the CLI and we should see that everything is running and there we can see everything is on revision two. Revision one has been fully scaled down. So that's basically all you really need to know about rollouts to get started and start using it. I hope you found this video helpful. If you haven't already, check out my video on Argo CD where I explain what Argo CD is and how you can set it up and start working with it. And if you have any questions about Argo CD or Argo rollouts, please leave them down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.